The University of York, abbreviated as EBOR or York for postnominals, is a collegiate plate glass research university located in the city of York, England. Established in 1963, the campus university has expanded to more than 30 departments and centers, covering a wide range of subjects. Situated to the southeast of the city of York, the university campus is about 500 acres 200 hectares in size. The original Heslington West, or Campus West campus incorporates the York Science Park and the National Science Learning Center, and its wildlife, campus lakes and greenery are prominent. In May 2007 the university was granted permission to build an extension to its main campus, on arable land just east of the nearby village of Heslington. The second campus, known as Heslington East or Campus East, opened in 2009 and now hosts three colleges and three departments as well as conference spaces, a sports village and a business startup incubator. The institution also leases King's Manor in York City Center. The university had a total income of £331.4 million in 2016-17, of which £66 million was from research grants and contracts. York is a collegiate university and every student is allocated to one of the university's nine colleges. The Ninth College was founded in 2014 and was named Constantine after the Roman Emperor Constantine I, who was proclaimed Augustus in York in 306 AD. There are plans to build two new colleges in the near future. In 2012, York joined the Russell Group of Research Intensive British Universities. It was ranked joint 12th in the UK amongst multi-faculty institutions for the quality GPA of its research and 24th for its research power in the 2014 Research Excellence Framework. The 2019 national ranking of York is 12th by The Guardian and 22nd by The Times and in 2020 it was ranked 30th by The Complete University Guide, internationally it ranked 134th QS and 119th the for 2019, 128th CWTS and between 301 to 400 ARWU for 2018 see below. History Origins The first petition for the establishment of a university in York was presented to James I in 1617. In 1641 a second petition was drawn up but was not delivered due to the English Civil War in 1642. A third petition was created in 1647 but was rejected by Parliament. In the 1820s there were discussions about the founding of a university in York, but this did not come to fruition due to the founding of Durham University in 1832. In 1903 F. J. Munby and the Yorkshire Philosophical Society, amongst others, proposed a Victoria University of Yorkshire, Oliver Sheldon a director of Roundtrees and co-founder of York Civic Trust, was a driving force behind the campaign to found the university. <laughs> <laughs> Establishment Morell and the History of the Foundations. In 1963 the university opened with 216 undergraduates, 14 postgraduates, and 28 academic and administrative staff. The university started with six departments, economics, education, English, history, mathematics, politics. At the time, the university consisted of three buildings, principally the historic King's Manor in the city centre and Heslington Hall, which has Tudor foundations and is in the village of Heslington on the edge of York. A year later, work began on purpose-built structures on the Heslington campus, which now forms the main part of the university. 
Baron James of Rushome, the university's first vice-chancellor, said of the University of York that, "...it must be collegiate in character, that it must deliberately seek to limit the number of subjects and that much of the teaching must be done via tutorials and seminars." Due to the influence of Graham Moody, founding head of the politics department, students are involved in the governance of the university at all levels, and his model has since been widely adopted. York's first two colleges, Derwent and Langworth, were founded in 1965, and were followed by Alquin and Vanbrugh in 1967 and Goodrick in 1968. In 1972 this was followed by Wentworth College, the university was noted for its inventive approach to teaching. It was known for its early adoption of joint honors degrees which were often very broad such as history and biology. It also took an innovative approach to social science introducing a five-year-long degree in the subject. Topic. Expansion After 1972 the construction of colleges ceased until 1990 with the foundation of James College. Initially James was intended to be a postgraduate-only college. However, the university began to rapidly expand in size almost doubling in size from 4,300 to 8,500 students. In 1993, therefore it was decided that the college should become open to undergraduates. The expansion of student numbers also resulted in the creation of more accommodation by the university, which was named Halifax Court. The members of Halifax Court were members of other colleges, however, soon formed their own junior common room. In 2002 Halifax Court was made a full college of the university and was renamed Halifax College. In 2003, the university set out plans to create a campus for 5,000 additional students, and to introduce a number of new subjects such as law and dentistry. For a number of years, the university's expansion plans were limited by planning restrictions on the Heslington West campus. The City of York planning conditions stipulate that only 20% of the land area may be built upon, and the original campus was at full capacity. In 2004, plans were finalized for a 117 hectare extension to the campus, provisionally called Heslington East, designed to mirror the existing Heslington West campus. The plans set out that the new campus would be built on arable land between Grimston Bar Park and Ride Car Park and Heslington Village. The land was removed from the Green Belt especially for the purpose of extending the university. After a lengthy consultation and a public inquiry into the proposals in 2006, the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government gave the go ahead in May 2007. In May 2008, the City of York planners approved the design for the first residential college, Goodrick. In the press on 28 July 2008, Shepherd Construction was named as the preferred contractor for the Goodrick College buildings. The proposal included landscaping the whole area, constructing a lake with marsh borders, planting light woodland and many specimen trees, and maximizing biodiversity. Construction began in 2008, with the first buildings, including Goodrick College, coming into use in October 2009. It was decided that rather than create a new college that an existing college should be moved. Goodrick College was selected for this and moved onto the new campus in 2009 with James taking over its building on Heslington West. Goodrick was officially opened by the Duke of York in April 2010. In 2012 the same process took place with Langworth moving to Heslington East and Derwent taking over its previous buildings. In 2014 Heslington East saw the establishment of the Ninth College, named Constantine College after the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, who was proclaimed Augustus in York in 306 AD. Um, 
Topic: Campus. Topic: Heslington West Campus. In 1964, work began on the campus facilities in the grounds of Heslington Hall. The marshy land was drained, the winding lake which dominates the campus was built, and the area was landscaped. The original buildings were designed by architects Sir Andrew Derbyshire and Stuart Johnson Marshall, with input also from the Vice-Chancellor Lord James, Professor Patrick Nutgins and the Registrar John West Taylor. The new structures were assembled using the clasp system of prefabricated construction, hence York's inclusion among the so-called plate glass universities. The buildings are connected by numerous covered walkways and bridges. Most of the university's arts departments occupy premises in the college buildings, while many of the science departments have their own buildings. A landmark building is Central Hall, a half-octagonal concert hall used for convocations and examinations, as well as theatrical and musical performances. It is a Grade II listed building, as is the West Campus landscape. It has played host to The Wailers, George Melly, Soft Machine, Pink Floyd, and Paul McCartney. Performances by big name acts have been rarer at the university following a 1985 The Boomtown Rats concert, during which the cover of the orchestra pit was damaged. A ban on pop performances, and in particular dancing, in Central Hall was imposed by the university, although it has occasionally been relaxed. Central Hall is still used for classical concerts and since a rock concert was held therein on 13 March 2010 it has been available again for full booking. Public concerts are regularly held in the music department's Sir Jack Lyons Concert Hall, the Arthur Sykes Rymer Auditorium and in some of the colleges. The Raymond Burton Library was also recently nominated for a SCONUL Design Award. The Campus Lake is the largest plastic-bottomed lake in Europe. The decision by Sir Andrew Derbyshire and Stuart Johnson Marshall to give the university a lake had two motivations, one, to give the university a distinct image and identity while also creating areas to foster community, and two, more practically to create a drainage basin as the site of the Heslington West was built on generally flat agricultural land and it was feared the construction of the new buildings would increase the risk of flooding. The lake has attracted a large population of wild and semi-wild waterfowl, including greylag, canada, barnacle and snow geese, coots, moorhens and large numbers of ducks, including mallards, tufted duck, and common pockets. There is also a growing population of black swans and a few great crested grebe. Herons have also been sighted on the lake. The southern end of the lake has been established as a bird sanctuary. Fishing is permitted in season, on purchase of a license. Other parts of the campus support a large rabbit population. On at least one occasion, students have been cautioned by the university for hunting rabbits. The Heslington campus has both indoor and outdoor sports facilities, including an all weather AstroTurf pitch and county standard cricket pitch. A large, tent like structure allows for indoor sport, gymnastics, and dance. In 2013 it was reported that the university was planning a major redevelopment of the Heslington West Campus which would also result in the creation of a tenth college. <laughs> Heslington Hall Heslington Hall is a Grade II asterisk listed rebuilt manor house consisting of a central nine bay two story block with attics and two two story wings at each end. It is built of brick in English bond with sandstone ashlar dressings. 
The original manor house was constructed in 1568 for Sir Thomas Ains, the secretary and keeper of the seal to the Council of the North, and his wife Elizabeth. At the outbreak of the Second World War, the house was vacated by the family, allowing it to be taken over by the Royal Air Force as the headquarters of No. 4 Group RAF, part of RAF Bomber Command. The hall was not reoccupied by the family after the war. In 1955 the hall was given Grade II asterisk listed building status. When the university was founded Sir Bernard Fielden supervised its conversion into the administrative headquarters of the university. The hall and university were at that time in the East Riding of Yorkshire although they are now part of the city of York. King's Manor Located in York City Centre, about 2 miles 3 km from the main Heslington West Campus, the historic King's Manor began as the Abbot's House of St. Mary's Abbey and went on to become the headquarters of the Council of the North following the dissolution of the monasteries. For many years from 1966, the King's Manor housed the Institute of Advanced Architectural Studies The IORS was a postgraduate institute primarily specializing in providing mid-career education for architects and others. In particular, it became well known for its one-year diploma course in conservation studies. It is now home to the Archaeology, Medieval Studies and 18th Century Studies departments, and is regularly used by other related departments such as History. It has a public restaurant and is used for art displays. Not far from the King's Manor is the Minster Library, in Dean's Park. Students and staff of the university are able to use the Minster Library, which shares staff and cataloging with the main university library, and holds the huge collection of early books belonging to the Dean and Chapter of York Minster. <laughs> Heslington East Campus Several departments have purpose-built facilities on Heslington East, including Law and the York Management School. In October 2010, several departments moved into new facilities on Heslington East including the Department of Theatre, Film and Television and the Department of Computer Science. Heslington East also includes the York Sports Village and a new purpose-built £1.1 million Olympic-sized outdoor velodrome, the only one in Yorkshire or the northeast of England. Topic Science Park and on-campus organizations Next door to the University on the York Science Park are organizations including the Higher Education Academy, the Digital Preservation Coalition, the National Non-Food Crops Center, the York Neuroimaging Center, the York Jail Nanocenter, the IT Office of Vetic, the UK Head Office of Alpha Graphics, the Accelerated Mass Spectrometry Specialists Acceleron Limited, and the Leeds, York and North North Yorkshire Chamber of Commerce. In summer 2011, the Department of Physics moved its Plasma Physics and Fusion Group to the Science Park at the newly created York Plasma Institute. York conferences are located on the university campus. Other properties The university owns several other properties including Catherine House, Constantine House, 54 Walmgate, and Fairfax House. The university publishes an annual code of practice for student accommodation to help students living off campus. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Organization and Administration. Colleges York is a collegiate university and has nine colleges. Every student is a member of a college and staff may choose to join a college if they wish. 
All colleges have equal status, and each has its own constitution. The day-to-day -day running of the colleges is managed by an elected committee of staff and student members chaired by the college's provost. Most colleges have a junior common room for undergraduate students, which is managed by the elected junior common room committee, and a graduate common room for postgraduate students, as well as a senior common room, which is managed by elected representatives of the college's academic and administrative members. Other colleges however combine undergraduate and postgraduate representation together into student associations. The colleges are deliberately assigned undergraduates, postgraduate students and staff from a wide mixture of disciplines. The Sunday Times noted, "...the colleges are tight-knit communities within the university and enjoy a healthy rivalry." The colleges share practical features of the halls of residence of other UK universities, as well as the traditional Oxbridge and Durham colleges. The university plans on building two new colleges to open in 2019 and 2020, with either both located on Heslington East or one each on Heslington East and West. Academic departments The university hosts a number of interdisciplinary research centers, including the Borthwick Institute for Archives, Center for Renaissance and Early Modern Studies, the Center for Eighteenth-Century Studies, the Center for Modern Studies, the Center for Medieval Studies, the Institute for Effective Education and the Institute for the Public Understanding of the Past. The Department of Politics hosts the Post-War Reconstruction and Development Unit and the Center for Applied Human Rights. The Heslington West Campus hosts the National Science Learning Center which opened in March 2006. It serves as the hub for a £51 million national network of centers dedicated to revitalizing science teaching in schools. It is operated by the White Rose University Consortium which comprises the universities of Leeds, Sheffield and York together with Sheffield Hallam University. Governance List of chancellors George Lassells, 7th Earl of Harewood (1962–1967). Kenneth Clark, Baron Clark (1967–1978). Michael Swan, Baron Swan (1979–1990). Dame Janet Baker (1991–2004). Greg Dyke (2004–2015). Sir Malcolm Grant 2015 present Topic List of Vice Chancellors Eric James Baron James of Rushome 1962 to 1973 Morris Carstairs 1973 to 1978 Berwick Saul 1979 to 1993 Sir Ronald Cook, 1993 to 2002; Brian Cantor, 2002 to 2013; Jane Grenville, acting, 2013; Cohen Lambitz, 2014 to 2018; Saul Tendler, acting, 2019; Charlie Jeffrey, incoming, 2019. Topic: Academic profile. Topic: Reputation and academic rankings. The Times University Guide said of York that the university is increasingly recognised as a permanent fixture in the top rank of British higher education, and that no university had a better record for teaching quality. 
The Sunday Times said, York is one of Britain's academic success stories, forging a reputation to rival Oxford and Cambridge in the space of 40 years. In some regards, teaching, for example, it has a recent track record better than that of Oxford, according to the official assessments of teaching quality. In 2014 York was named the eighth best university under 50 years old in the world, and first within the United Kingdom, building a reputation to rival Oxford and Cambridge. On 25 November 2010 York was named University of the Year at the Times Higher Education Awards, achieving praise from the judges for its success in combining academic excellence with social inclusion, as well as its record in scientific discovery. In the Times Higher Education Rankings York is listed as 34th for Life Sciences and Biomedicine. The Sunday Times released averages of all its tables over 10 years, ranking York as 6th in the country from 1998 to 2007. In 2000 the Sutton Trust named York as a leading university in the United Kingdom, placing it sixth overall. In 2018 CWTS Leiden recorded there to have been 2,833 publications by York between 2013 to 2016 which placed it at 425 in the world by quantity and 128 in terms of its proportion of top 10% publications. Overall world rankings for York by ARWU placed it between 301 and 400 for 2018, 201 and 300 for 2017. QS placed York at 134 in 2019, 135 equals in 2018 and 127 in 2017 and the Times Higher Education ranking for 2019 was 119 137 equals in 2018 and 129 in 2016-17 All three major national rankings place York in the top 30 with the Times placing it 22 and the Guardian at 12 in 2019 and the Complete University Guide at 30 in 2020 equals topic admissions and enrollment equals Information for entry standards gathered from the 2014–15 academic year by the HESA shows that the average student at the University of York achieved a UCAS tariff of 430, the 19th highest in the UK. And a grade at a level is equivalent to 120 points, and an A at is worth 60 points. The average entrant can be assumed to achieve AB at a level and AB at as levels since most applicants take five as levels and specialise to three A levels. York, along with only a handful of other British universities, require the new A grade for some course entry requirements. The university gives offers of admission to 78.5% of its applicants, the joint 15th lowest amongst the Russell Group. There are around 6.2 applications for every undergraduate place, and a completion rate of 93.2%, with around 80% of graduates graduating with a first. 2 to 1.17.9% of York's undergraduates are privately educated, the joint 20th highest proportion amongst mainstream stream British universities. In the 2016–17 academic year, the university had a domicile breakdown of 80, 516 of UK, EU, non-EU students respectively with a female to male ratio of 56 to 44. Official teaching statistics equals The 2003 QAA report on the institution gave it the best of their three possible outcomes saying that broad confidence can be placed in the soundness of the university's current and likely future management of the quality of its academic programs and the academic standards of its awards. 
The latest teaching quality assessment data for the University of York is listed below. In cases before November 1995 a numerical value, out of 24, is not used. In these cases, excellent is the highest possible grade followed by satisfactory and then unsatisfactory. Under the newer system the quality of teaching is marked out of 24. 22 24 or higher is equivalent to excellent. On the old scale 20 out of 23 departments gained an excellent rating. Topic: Research assessment. Equals: York has an impressive reputation for research, with 19 units of assessment out of the 23 in the 2000 research assessment exercise, receiving a rating of 5 and 3 5 asterisk, where 1 is the lowest and 5 asterisk is the highest possible ratings in the 2001 research assessment exercise. The Department of English and Related Literature and the Department of Computer Science were later upgraded from 5 asterisk to 6 asterisk indicating successive 5 asterisk grades, and the Department of Psychology has been rated 6 asterisk for funding. Using these statistics, York was ranked the sixth best research institution in the United Kingdom. The proportion of staff submitted as research active in each unit of assessment was above 80%. York is a founding member of the Worldwide Universities Network which supports worldwide collaboration in teaching and research. The university has been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize five times, in 1997 for the work of the Department of Computer Science, in 2005 for the work of the Center for Novel Agricultural Products, in 2007 for the work of the Center for Health Economics, in 2009 for the work of Social Policy Research Unit of the Department of Social Policy and Social Work, and in 2011 for the Department of Archaeology. Archaeology's influential role in broadening the scope of archaeology. Health economics was pioneered at York, and the university leads the world in the methodological development of cost effectiveness analysis of healthcare technologies. It is home to two prominent health economics journals and has been home to many prominent names in health economics including current lead health economist at the World Bank Adam Wagstaff, ex-deputy chair of NICE Tony Cullier, current ISPOR director Paul Kind, ex-ISPOR president Mike Drummond, current chairman of York Primary Care Trust Alan Maynard. In 2007, York became the only British university to have an academic department, Chemistry, win the Gold Athena Swan Award for its commitment to the careers of women in science. In 2014, the Department of Biology also received a Gold Athena Swan Award. The Department of Psychology has won a Silver Athena Swan Award, the first in the country to do so. The Department of Physics also holds a silver award. The university's departments share 13 separate awards, and the university as a whole holds the Athena Swan Bronze Award. <laughs> <laughs> student activities Representation The Students' Union is the University of York Students' Union and is referred to as USU. Its membership is currently the entire student population of the university. In 2008 USU was able to open its first union-run licensed venue The Courtyard. In addition to the Students' Union, there is the Graduate Students' Association GSA, the Students' Union for Postgraduate Students, which follows normal SU functions such as representing postgraduates on university committees and council. 
Each college has its own JCRC or Students' Association which provide a variety of services, including college events and student welfare services. They also organize the Freshers' Fortnight activities in their college. Nonpartisan political societies are well represented at the university, with the York Student Think Tank, which produces research in collaboration with national policy organizations such as IPPR, New Generation Society, an informal debating society, and the York Union Society, which competes in inter-varsity debating tournaments against other universities. There are also very active party political societies on campus with the University of York Labour Club, the University of York Liberal Democrat Society, the University of York Conservative and Unionist Association and the University of York Green Group, campaigning on issues both on and off campus, as well as organizing debates and talks by high-profile speakers. There is also a branch of People and Planet, which campaigns on environmental and ethical issues. Provisions for lesbian, gay bisexual and trans LGBT students at the university are divided among two distinct organizations. USU LGBT is a part of the Students' Union and represents LGBT students within the union, as well as providing welfare support and conducting awareness-raising campaigns on campus. LGBT Social organizes social events aimed at LGBT students and their friends. While remaining separate, these two groups generally have strong links to each other and to the Staff LGBTI Forum, which offers largely similar provision to staff members of the university. Media York Student Television was founded at the university in 1967 and is England's oldest student television station. YSTV once held the world record for longest continuous television broadcast under a single director. It was named the best student television station at the 2012, 2014 and 2019 NASTA Awards. The University of York Filmmaking Society was a student run filmmaking group. Between 1999 and 2014, its members made two feature films and many shorts, some of which were shown at national film festivals. University Radio York is the oldest independent radio station in the United Kingdom and winner of the Student Radio Awards Best Station Award 2005. NAUS was established in 1964 and was 2005 NUS – Mirror Student Paper of the Year and 2009 NUS Best Student Media. It has also won multiple Guardian Student Newspaper Awards throughout the past decade, for both its pioneering website and outstanding individual journalists. Its rival newspaper, Vision, was named Guardian Student Newspaper of the Year for three consecutive years between 2002 and 2004 the only time this has occurred in the 27 year history of the prestigious awards and won it again in 2007. In 2011, it won the award for a fifth time, making it the most awarded student newspaper in the United Kingdom. It also won Best Small Budget Publication at the 2006 NUS – Mirror National Student Media Awards. The Lemon Press, York's satire magazine, was launched in 2009, in both print and online formats. In 2010 it won the NUS Award for Best Student Media. The Yorker is an online publication set up by students as an independent company in 2007. It was nominated for the Guardian Student Media Awards after running for only a few months. York Student Cinema (YSC), operating since the late 1960s, show around 30 films a term using a professional 35 mm projector, an industry standard Christie CP2000 digital projector, and a full-size cinemascope screen in one of the largest rooms on campus. 
It has won the BFFS Film Society of the Year Award several times and celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2016. Sports The York's university teams play in black and gold colours. York is a member of British Universities and Colleges Sport and has 65 teams participating. At the end of the 2013–14 BUCS season York came 38th out of 145 participating institutions, as well as BUCS every summer term the university take part in the Roses Tournament, a sports competition against Lancaster University, which is the largest inter-university tournament in Europe. The venue of the event alternates each year between York and Lancaster, and involves numerous sports clubs, including the conventional football, hockey, and the more unusual Octopush, Ultimate Frisbee. As of 2018 York are leading Lancaster with 27 wins to 26, with one draw in 1974. York will be hosting the 2019 tournament. The university has also previously also been in the White Rose Varsity Tournament. This started in 2005 against York's other university, York St. John. York won all six of the tournaments held. In 2011, attempts to try and increase the competitiveness of the competition resulted in York St. John being replaced by the University of Hull. York won all three tournaments against Hull, which resulted in it being scrapped in 2013. In 2014, a new tournament was created, College Varsity, which was held between the colleges of the University of York and the colleges of Durham University. Topic: <laughs> Arts. The University of York Music Society and the University of York Drama Society are two of the largest student societies on campus, with each having performances and or concerts every week during term. Central Hall Musical Society performs a number of shows and showcases every year. Other performing societies include the Gilbert and Sullivan Society, Pantsock who stage a student-written pantomime three times a year, and York ComedySock, one of the most active comedy societies in the UK, putting on a show every week along with workshops in stand-up, improv and sketch writing, acting. Comedy Sock sends two shows to the Edinburgh Fringe each year, The Shambles, Comedy Sock's in-house improv comedy troupe and The Dead Ducks, Comedy Sock's in-house sketch comedy troupe. Both troupes perform throughout the year on campus and in, around York and have received critical acclaim for their shows at the Edinburgh Fringe. Fusion was recently founded to promote the ever-growing urban music scene and to raise money for charity. In 2004 a student at the university established York Carnival—a day celebrating music and the arts in the center of York. Its original aim was to encourage links between the University of York and the residents of the historic city and to encourage participation in the arts. It has grown into a large annual event, attracting crowds of up to 5,000. Notable alumni and academics York has a large number of alumni who have been active in politics, including at least 15 members of the United Kingdom Parliament, five members of the House of Lords, two members of the Scottish Parliament, one member of the European Parliament and several ministers of other governments around the world. The former President and former Prime Minister of Portugal Aníbal Cavaco Silva, who completed his doctorate in economics. The incumbent Governor-General of Belize Colville Young holds a doctorate in linguistics from York. The senior Vice President of the World Bank Group Dr. Mahmoud Mohildan holds a master's degree in economic and social policy analysis from York. 
The university is also represented by alumni educated in the liberal arts such as English literature, social sciences, economics, philosophy, medieval history, and music. The author Anthony Horowitz attended York and graduated in 1973 with a degree in English literature and art history. Greg Dyke, the former Chancellor of the University, is also Chair of the Football Association and British Film Institute, and also is the former Director General of the BBC is a former student, and graduated in 1974 with a BA in Politics. The current Director of the Natural History Museum, Sir Michael Dixon, has a PhD in zoology from York. More recently, due to expansion into areas of technology, it has also produced notable computer scientists, such as the Ethereum co founder Gavin Wood, and the computer scientist Chris Lilly. Prominent academics associated with the University of York include the distinguished literary teacher F. R. Levis and Adrian Leftwich and anti-apartheid activist. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>